What's up guys? Now the self-determination. So I was um, looking on Twitter and hopefully I'll be able to um, add that screenshot to this video. I got a new phone so I can do a lot more without being in the house to edit videos now. But anyway, so <clears throat> Trump wants to give the death penalty to people who are junkies, essentially. You guys are aware of the opioid epidemic in our country. Well, Trump wants to start giving those people the death penalty. Now, white supremacists usually don't surprise me with the things that they say. And I'm not really surprised by this, you know. Um, it's more of a situation like it's like, it's like, wow, he said that shit about his own people. And then it's like, but it's Trump. I'm not surprised he said that about his own people. You know what I'm saying? I mean, after all, he does feel like he's an elitist and they don't give a shit about any of us. I'm going to just let you know that right now. Uh, if you're not part of this particular group, they don't give a shit about you. Just anyway, I'm going to keep it moving. So, um, cause I don't want to start sounding like a conspiracy theorist and none of that kind of shit. But yeah, so Trump wants to make it a penalty of death <clears throat> for people who get arrested <clears throat> for opioid use or possession more probably. Um, I think that is insane. Um, the Philippines, their laws are like that where, their new president has basically okayed the um, execution of people who are who get arrested for drug offenses. I'm not sure of the specific nature of the types of drug drug offenses, but if you deal with or deal in drugs, chances are you're going to be executed in the Philippines. Donald Trump. See, this is a question of morality, I believe. That's a moral issue. Should people be murdered for drug addiction? Should alcoholics be sat in front of firing squads for getting drunk? Should people who smoke two or three cigarettes a day uh, be arrested for smoking cigarettes? I mean, there are hundreds of types of addiction. I mean, there are hundreds of types of addictions. And... Is it right for anyone to be judged so harshly because of an addiction, a drug addiction? Yes, drugs ruins lives. But we live in a world where the 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 the, uh, the knowledge, the know-how is there to help people who have severe situations affecting their lives like this. Unfortunately, the system is set up so that a lot of those resources are out of the hands of people who can't afford them, unfucking fortunately. Um, because for some reason, good health, physically and mentally, is something you need to be able to pay for. Uh, you know, the, in, the, uh, the, the inalienable right of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness comes at a fucking price. It's unalienable, and it's expensive. But I don't give a fuck who the people are. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, when it comes to morality, I am not an immoral person and I don't want to see people lose their lives over frivolous, stupid shit. You understand? To talk so cavalierly about imp implementing a death penalty for drug use or drug abuse or drug possession or drug dealing or whatever the fuck the case is makes you an immoral piece of shit. Just like if you're OK with the murder of children, it makes you an immoral piece of shit. In any context you can think of, biblical, contemporary, any any context you can think of, the, the harm and murder of fucking children makes you, if you're okay with it, makes you an immoral piece of shit. So, anyway, that's what I wanted to say about Trump. Um, this is who the leader of our country is. Now, outside of the psychopaths and, and just the fucking idiots, nobody would be okay with somebody who uses drugs being sentenced to death everybody who's listening to this video has had or knows someone in their family or in their life who is currently or have has in the past used and abused hard drugs 
at least one person. And that's just being generous. You understand? Because usually it's like roaches. If you see one, there's probably thousands, hundreds of them, you know what I'm saying, somewhere tucked off in the scene, behind the scene, right? But it's not okay. It's not okay as the president to say shit like that in public. Like the whole shithole country's comment about hate uh, about Haitians and uh, about Hades and uh, 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 Africa, people who come from Africa. And yet people continue to tolerate this douchebaggery. But I wonder what people's response will be now that they know that he doesn't give a shit about the demographic of people who would most likely be strung out on opioid drugs because it's not fucking up the black community like that the asian mexican east indian community or muslim community like that you feel me it's not fucking with any of the quote-unquote minority communities so notice who i did not say i need a new lighter but what do you think about that do, do you sacrifice your morality your humanity to say something as fucking stupid and brainless as people who who are a part of the drug trade should receive the death penalty now the punishment should fit the crime if you get caught with a bag of weed you shouldn't even be fucking arrested if you get caught with a, a, a dime bag of coke I say anything less than a fucking ounce they should leave you the fuck alone Personally, depending on the harshness of the drug, marijuana should not be a Schedule 1 drug. You understand? Marijuana should not be a Schedule 1 drug. It should be like Schedule 3, Schedule 2, simply because it does have psychoactive properties, THC. So, schedule 2, but Schedule 2 can be served over the counter or sold over the counter. Schedule 1 is some DEA shit. You're dealing with federal law at that point, for those of you who are unaware but the death penalty i mean murderers don't get the death penalty they are murderers who don't get the death penalty they are child molesters who don't get the death penalty why should a motherfucker who got a needle full of smack in his arm get the fucking death penalty i don't understand that why should you get the death penalty for sniffing a, a line of coke you know why should you get the death penalty for taking a fucking unprescripted prozac As bad as your life might be, if this is where you're going for relief, you don't deserve to die for that. And apparently, immoral Trump believes that you should die for that. That's crazy. It's a question of fucking morality. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's about well-being. What is the better state of being? Sitting in jail on death row and ultimately dying for using drugs or being alive and receiving treatment for your drug use. I don't even think that's a rhetorical question. I don't even think you even need to respond to that. But it's kind of fucked up. That Trump is actually being worse to the people because I wonder if he understands who are the people who are being mostly affected by the opioid epidemic because in hit because this dude is kind of he's kind of detached you know what I'm saying so I wouldn't even be surprised if he thought it was black people who were being affected more by the opioid opioid epidemic which is the reason why he made these statements you know what I'm saying which is bad enough you know what I'm saying. But if he is aware that it is mostly affecting the white community and he said this knowingly, you know, then, hey, there you have it. The man is telling you who the fuck he is. You should probably start believing him. But that's all I wanted to say. I, I wanted to inform you guys of Trump's latest political debacle, because that's what the fuck it is. If you believe I'm going to end with this. If you believe that drug use is worth executing people for. You are an immoral douchebag. And you don't deserve to intermingle with the rest of us. Because nobody's ability to experience this reality should be placed upon the hands of someone else who can frivolously decide whether or not you deserve to or not to live. 
unless you commit what is generally agreed upon as crimes against humanity, like murdering of innocent individuals. You understand what I'm saying? And even then, I'm kind of shaky on that. But this isn't a topic about that. Anyway, so let me know what you guys think. Um, do you support Trump uh, Trump's uh, opinion? Do you believe that people should be murdered for drug use or being involved in the drug trade? I mean, it's a fairly simple question to answer. But um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. The guy is showing us who the fuck he is every day. Every time he opens his mouth, you understand, he tells us who he is. Without question. Peace.